Hey ya, I'm Armin from Blessed, and in this video we will check out how we can send emails inside of a Zapier Zap. Sending email is one of the cornerstones of the internet as we currently know it. And having Zapier in a no-code workflow makes sending emails a breeze. From simple text notifications to sending out PDF attachments or even personalized inline images, everything is possible and definitely something everyone should know how to set up. Let's check it out together. As preparation for this video, I have prepared a fresh ZEP and hooked it up to an Airtable, which has one row of, of demo data inside of it. Uh, so essentially just the name, email, an image and a PDF. And this is the data that we're going to use in our, in our email step. So just that we have some examples. Email with Zapier is actually pretty easy. They have a lot of different options and the first step would be to select uh, the one that's the right one for you. So the uh, Zapier has, has three different options in general. <clears throat> you can use the email by Zapier app. This one will take everything off of you. You don't need an SMTP server. You don't need any external service. Zapier will, Zapier will send the email for you, which comes at the cost of having Zapier as the sender of the email, having Zapier as adding uh, unsubscribe URLs into the email to make it compliant and, and things like that. So this, this is to keep in mind. As soon as you have an SMTP server or, or any mailbox, actually that, that where you have SMTP credentials for, you could send emails through that as well. Or if you have an app running somewhere, which is already sending emails or any service that, that, is, that is somewhere connected, uh, you can look out and, and, and they should have, uh, most of them already have uh, native Zapier apps that you can just use, for example, SendGrid. I think Mailgun has as well one. And all of those solutions basically can do the same things, maybe in a little bit different structure, but uh, any of those should, should be able to do the things that, that we are going to do now. For this tutorial, we are going to pick the email by Zapier app as for our examples, it makes it easy to get started. I've already added it to this ZAP and chose the app, which is called email by Zapier and the event is sent out on email. At the setup step, we can uh, start by at the email address where this email is being sent to. Pick it here out of the air table. Then we need a subject. Welcome to the email course. Then we have a body. This body by default uh, would be a text input. So hey, yeah, this is the email you wanted. From name would be said, support. The from name means uh, this can 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 be a name, which because it doesn't have to be an email. You you would see in your inbox then placid support, and in the reply to field, this is the field which gets used when someone replies to your email. We can pick the email that uh, should be used. So let's call that support at placid.app. And if you would hit reply, you would send an email to this email address. We don't need some CC or BCC. We don't need to this, this, we can just hit continue, test the action. And let's see if we got it. Yeah, there it is. Placid support, send us an email with the uh, subject welcome to the email course, send it to my email address and the reply to would be support at Placid App. With our body, this is the email you wanted. And they also add a link at the bottom where you can decline receiving Zapier emails. So this is this is what comes together with the with, with using the Zapier in-house email solution. And also if you look at the email which is this sent from, it will always be a sapiermail.com. But it works, but it works and it makes it easy and, and it, it shouldn't be big of a deal to, to have it this way. But if, you need, if you're looking for more branding 
and and to have it more in, in, in brand of your company then of course you should go something custom to make these emails even cooler we can also apply our own custom html design so you can have uh, any email template that, that, that you'd like as well uh, in Zapier. Using these is a, is a bit tricky as uh, it, it still works like, like it did the last 15 years. Um, you have an email template, you paste it in, you change the few placeholders that you want to be dynamic and then you send it out. So it, it's, it's a bit it's a bit tricky to to update it or something so usually you, you would start over paste it in and and fill out the placeholders but let's give it a try I, i've created a simple email template which is based on our uh, newsletter template and we are going to implement that and also add a dynamic field i will just copy it now go back into our sap the setup section and here in the body, we can paste it in. And now we have to find the section that we want to change. I think we want to change that we have a correct greeting. So we just want to fill in the name of our recipient after the, after the greeting. Let's find it. This is the email you wanted. That's your, ah, here it is. Yeah, so essentially here, exactly at this point, we want to fill in the name field from the air table. Let's remove the spaces. Let's keep one here. And this is everything we needed to, to have it being an HTML email with our custom design. Of course, you could have a lot more fields, a lot more customization, but in the end, what you need to know and what you need to do is the email has to be one big uh, string with all your data inside of it. And that's how it's, it's going to be sent. Let's give it a try. Yeah, there it is. Here you can see, this is now our custom design at the top here with our dynamic field. And what I see, we uh, Zapier still added this inside of it. So I, I'd say if you want to go custom or, or into custom HTML territory, then you probably would want to have it through the Zapier SMTP app or, or another, another app that is not adding these links because you, you could do them do them yourself. This, this kind of breaks our design. But, but still, we did an HTML template and the process is the same for other solutions. As our next step, we want to add an image to this email. So inline, inside of the text, we want to have an image tag and have an image there which, which will also be sent. So this could be either uh, this could be like a, like a personalized image which which could be created also in this app or just any other image that that you pull out of your database and i will show you how this works let's go back to the edit and scroll down to our field it's essentially uh, completely the same thing as, as filling out text like, like this first name here. We are just going to add an image tag and fill the URL of the image tag. So this is the email you wanted. Since I've created an, an image here, which is this one, this is an offer for a hotel and we have uh, of course, um, personalized it for, for the receiver of this email, right? So, this is your personalized offer. And after that, we are just going to add another paragraph with an image tag. Of course, um, 
that that what I'm doing now in, in in general you would already have prepared this email the HTML template would already come with the position where this image is and you would just fill in the the URL to the image and then the styling and everything would be there I, I'm just doing it so so we can see it in the example now just quick and dirty adding this image here with the width of 200 and now we have an image tag and we will pick the image from the Airtable field, which will be the email image. How is it called? It's called email image. Oh. Email image file name. No, we need a new URL. Email image. like the large one so we take the URL from the large thumb thumbnail and paste it in here and it should already work again as you can see same with images same with with just plain text in the end we have one string one HTML string that gets sent via email into the inbox of, of our recipient continue and give it a test and see if we have this image now in our email <laughs> yeah here we go here's our personalized offer <laughs> great so we also have now dynamic images inside of your email and now onto our last step what's the thing that's missing so this is a perfect email an attachment we need to add an attachment to this email and we do this by getting back into the setup process, scrolling down to the attachment field. And Sapia really takes a lot of work off of you to do this, as you only have to have your desired attachment hosted somewhere and then paste in, uh, paste in just a URL and they will just pick it up and attach it. That's everything you need to do. So we'll just find our email file. We have it in an attachment, not the thumbnail. This is the attachment URL. I think this should be it. And this is everything we needed to do to even have a nice attachment now attached to this attached to this email. Let's give it a try. Oh, step back, test action. Let's see if we get now the perfect email. Yeah, and there it is. Now, beautiful HTML email with our customized, uh, personalized offer image and with a PDF file attached. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. It's just the, the file name in the URL is being used here. So if you want to change that, you'd have to save it. Uh, when you, if you want to change that together with Sapia, you have to save it as the file name you want it to be in the email then. All right. I think this was the, the last missing piece uh, that we need to, to kind of build everything around email that, that you, you might need in the future. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any problems or ideas what, what I could do next or, or if you're just stuck with it, uh, just leave me a comment. Happy to help and have a great day. Bye. So. That's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.